Today is National Coming Out Day. Every October 11th, the day is celebrated in support of the LGBTQ plus community. And our next guest wants to help youth feel more comfortable being their true selves. That's why he details his journey in his book, Breaking Free, the saga of self-discovery by a gay secret service agent. Corey Allen, welcome to Great Day Washington. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being Thank you here. for having me on. It's always great to come back to DC. Was here for five years before I moved to California. So yeah. I love being back. Yes. You had quite the, quite the journey here, right? Secret service to the Obamas? That is correct. It's been a wild ride. Wow. Uh, so I'm far. sure. I'm sure. Wow. And then so your book, what was the what was the main reason you wanted to write this book? I originally wrote it for myself to once I left the Secret Service and moved to California in 2019 to document 10 to 15 years of my life that just flew by in an instant and it was an insane ride um, as a way just to catalog and process everything I've been through, divorce to losing my grandfather to discrimination. Um, and then the pandemic happened, um, and I figured, why not try and do something with this? Um, right. And maybe it'll help somebody else, because mm -hmm. I didn't have role models in my career field, or so figured maybe I can help in that avenue. Mm -hmm. What was it like, so when you were serving with the Obamas, protecting them, had you come out yet? Did people know? Around 2017 or 18, I was surrounded by amazing colleagues and other Secret Service agents who made me feel comfortable and welcomed and warm. So around that time, I did start to come into my own. Okay. On um, the last five years of my career, really, it's been okay. now 20. Mm. So those you were working with knew that you were gay at that point? Correct. Last couple of years with okay. the Secret Service, that is correct. Mm -hmm. And you said they were really supportive, but what was that journey like once you kind of really came into your own and who you were? Just feeling authentic and, mm. and putting the vulnerable stuff out there that reduces the fear of discrimination if people know who you are and you're speaking your truths um, and just leading by example is what that's kind of turning into now right. as I now lead special agents on the west coast uh, as well as uh, members of the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. um, so it's great to be able to come full circle really to be able yeah. to do that. Yeah. For anyone else who had gone through struggles like you did, you mentioned discrimination, I think there was domestic abuse and some Correct. other things and not to mention a very stressful job. What advice do you give other people as you're out there mentoring people? Find your support network first mm -hmm. and foremost. If, if it's not in the home, in the Trevor Project they do amazing work so if LGBT youth are, are needing resources, reach out to them and they found that 62% uh, of LGBTQ youth don't feel that their home is affirming for them. Mm -hmm. And that is a really mm -hmm. high number, especially with the suicide rates um, in the LGBTQ community as well. So reach out for support, HRC, GLAD, there's a ton of uh, resources out there. And I hope to be part of something uh, within federal law enforcement to build uh, a network or an organization to help people like me that would have been mm -hmm. really helpful 15 years ago. Right, and you, what is it like now still, where you're training agents in law enforcement, and I know it's, it's that's, not always the most welcoming, right, when it comes to somebody who's gay in that field. It, um, it can be Is terrifying it? at times. Yeah. <laughs> in a leadership institute in Georgia a few months ago, I had to address my own fear, and nobody knew that I had mem authored this memoir, and it was gaining media attention. And so I just oh. got up in front of a class full of peers, and it was terrifying, but at the end, the support that I received was uh, admittedly unexpected, uh, and that it also just helped me mm -hmm. affirm to myself, mm -hmm. okay, I need to continue to lean into this. Um, We're making progress, correct. is what you're saying. Yes, okay, definitely. And Compared to 20 years ago, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would hope so. I yeah. would hope so for sure. Corey, as we, as we wrap up here, of course your book will touch so many people, mm -hmm. especially those who are going through something similar, but what do you hope that people walk away with after reading your book? hopefully stepping into their own selves and, and knowing that they're loved and they are appreciated and they're perfect the way they are, even when our community is under attack by, by so many. Um, ACLU is tracking about 500 bills across the U.S. that are anti-LGBTQ. And so, especially the LGBTQ youth, they need to know that they're loved, they're perfect the way mm -hmm. they are and they're accepted and hang in there and it does get better. Yeah. It does get better. And for people like you that are out there speaking your truth, I mean, just to know that they have a community, right? You're not Absolutely. alone. You're not alone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. And for, thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank so great to meet you. On you. Happy so National much. Coming Out Day. Yes, yes happy absolutely. Happy National Coming Out Day. All right, you can buy Breaking Free on CoreyAllenBooks.com or you just go to Amazon and you'll find it there.